what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Gold Guy YouTube channel. Today we're out here in the snow working on the Subaru. Let's get inside to talk about it. Woo! It's cold out there. Nothing like a good Subaru cold start in the snow, huh? So as you could hear, it kind of started weak and that's because this car has not been ran in a while. Uh, simply because, well, why don't you listen to it? That's the noise it makes when I push the clutch in. And the pedal just does not have the right feel to it. And I'm pretty sure the clutch release bearing is going out. So naturally, what did Gold Guy do? I went ahead and bought a complete Exidy clutch kit. So not only will I be fixing the problem, I'm gonna be upgrading the clutch. I've never dropped the transmission. I've never replaced the clutch. I did turbocharge this car, so I think I'll have kind of an easier time working on it. I kind of know where everything is. So anyway, let's get in the garage, get it up on some jacks and start working on it, see what we can do. And also, it bogs the engine down whenever I push the clutch in. I let the clutch out, everything's fine. Oh, that's a terrible sound. All right, guys. Let's see how long this car is gonna be in the garage. Comment your guesses down below. I'm guessing six days. Yeah, six days sounds good. All right guys, here we go. Here is my clutch kit. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, there we go. We got the Exidy clutch kit, clutch disc. Always remember, handle with care. Check for smooth sliding. Remove excess grease and avoid misalignment because that would be terrible. All right. There's the actual clutch disc. All right, let's see what else we got in here. This is the clutch cover, the thing with the teeth, the pressure plate, whatever you want to call it. All right, and then there is the alignment tool. There we've got the new pilot bearing the throw out bearing which is what i probably need on well, what i'm going to replace and that's what probably is wrong with my clutch in my car there's the pressure plate and here's my flywheel nice and oiled up and looks like that's it guys so we got a lot of work to do. My car has been down for about a week and a half now. Yeah, six days sounds good. To be honest, I've really been avoiding doing this because I've never dropped the transmission on any car, let alone a Subaru. Well, I've got a thousand reasons why I don't wanna do this, but I need a car, so I'm gonna get suited up and let's get this done.
All right, day two. I got the socket, T70. Now we're ready to drain the transmission oil. Here we go, draining the transmission oil. Damn, that is tight. Oh, there we go. Busted it loose. See how much oil we can get on my hand. Check it out, didn't get any oil on my hand somehow. Now we gotta pull the slave cylinder off. I think this should work a little better. Oh, losing bolts already. All right, now let's get this ground wire off. And let's give this drill another chance. Okay. You may have redeemed yourself. Now we gotta remove the front wheels. We're gonna have to remove that axle from the transmission somehow. Next, we gotta get this wishbone loose because it's holding onto the transmission. Got to remove the throttle body intercooler piping first because it is in the way. That'll do. Shit, get the washer. All right, so that's loose. I think that's all we got to do with that. Whenever I go to pull the transmission down, the engine's going to want to move forward. So I'm just going to jam something in between the engine and the radiator. See if we can pry the CV axle out of there. That was pretty easy. Super easy. Now we gotta drop the support in the middle. There we go. And there's the whole drive shaft. It's pretty light. There we go. All right. We've got that axle out of the way. Holy shit. All right. Got the axles out of the way. Now we've got to remove the starter motor. Ah, fuck. That damn thing lodged in there. There's the bottom bolt, now I just gotta get the top bolt. Jam that up in there. And we're almost ready to get the tranny out. And it's only been one day, can you believe it? All right, now I'm going to remove these four subframe bolts. Oh. 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 There we go. All right, let's get this shift linkage disconnected. One down, 
One to go. Uh, there's a nut on top of that. That's why I couldn't get it. All right, we got it. No idea where the nut is, but we got it. Well guys, it's late. I only have one glove. I'm dirty and the transmission's completely ready to come out except for I have to get the uh, bell mount bolts out. It's a little too late. I'm done working for the day. Tomorrow I'm going to get the transmission out, change the clutch, and put everything back together. So I'll see you then. downpipe in place. Got it, boys. That was all I had to do. Pry it off of the studs on the bottom and we got it. This thing's pretty damn heavy. Especially when you're under a freaking car. Guys, let's shift gears. <laughs> I'm so funny. Come on. Please. All right, I think that did it. Gotta make sure this jack's centered or else we'll be f Now this is why you buy a transmission jack right here. This is the moment. You might not need to use it much, but whenever you do need to use it, it comes in handy. All right, gotta move it back a little bit. And down. And back. And down. And down a little more. And we've got it. One small step for me, one giant leap for the mankind. Uh, what do we do now? Well, there's your problem. Got the transmission out. Check it out throw out bearing, guys. There's my problem. This thing is completely toast. It's like it melted or something. It's got pieces of dried up grease and melted plastic or something. Pretty much all in all, it's 100%. This thing is messed up in every way possible. That was pretty easy. Just had to pinch this clip in and pretty much pull it out. Got a lot of clutch dust cleaning to do. Here's the old throw out bearing versus the new throw out bearing. So now on the engine side of things, we're going to remove the pressure plate, the uh, clutch disc, and the flywheel. Damn, it was time for a new clutch anyway. It's pretty bad. Especially for only 90,000 miles. All right, let's get 
get this flywheel out of here. Just a ton of clutch dust. But I don't really see any oil coming through there. Well, you're supposed to check this main seal to see if there's oil seeping through because if there is, then you should change it. All right, let's see how much the new Exidy flywheel weighs versus the stock OEM Subaru flywheel. This one is exactly 25 pounds on the dot. And this one is 20 pounds exactly. So it's actually five pounds lighter this is the pilot bearing that came with the kit. I don't know why they didn't just go ahead and put it in there, but not a problem, I can do it. Socket slightly smaller than the bearing. Let's go. I do believe we got it. Definitely going to want to clean the inside of this with some brake clean. Damn, that thing was dirty. All right, let's get this Exidy flywheel on there. And then I'm going to torque these down to 72 newton meters. All right, next, alignment tool, clutch disc, pressure plate. Alignment tool, I did that wrong. Clutch plate, let's see, which way do we go? Transmission side, right here, so it goes this way. And then the alignment tool, and then the pressure plate. We want to find a happy medium with the clutch plate. As you can see, it's got a little wobble, so I'm going to go right in the middle of the wobble, which happens to be right about there. Let's snug these down, 12 foot-pounds. Oh, fucking A. They're all snugged down to 12 foot pounds. Let's pull this alignment tool out. And we don't need that in there anymore. We're ready to put the transmission back in. I'm gonna be using a little bit of this anti-seize lubricant. I'm gonna be using this on the splines, on the shift knuck, on the clutch fork knuckle, and pretty much anywhere metal touches metal gonna put just a little bit of this stuff on that. The thing about this is that you don't want that much lubricant or else it'll throw the excess onto the clutch. So we've got to use these clips. All right, so now we got to connect the new throw out bearing to the clutch fork. My thing was I was wanting them to be like real tight, but apparently that's how they're supposed to be, not very tight. It goes up in there. And this goes like that. And that's pretty much it. That's how that goes. Just like that. All right guys, so I've got all the old clutch stuff out and all the new stuff in. And really all that's left to do is pretty much just put everything back the way it was, reverse everything that I just did except for changing the clutch. We wanna keep the new clutch obviously. We got the new throw out bearing in, we got the new pilot bearing in, everything's in, so, except the transmission. 
So I got a lot of work to do putting this thing back together.